Hey guys. So I think this is what, day 15, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm hanging out in my car. I just got done with therapy, so I'm gonna try and make this short because I gotta pick up some lunch for myself and go get my kiddos. But um yeah, I look like a ham beast and a half because when you're a mom, you don't get any sleep. Um, but I wanted, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today because it's self-love September and, um, this is something that Kellyanne Maddox, uh, I'm not entirely sure if Kellyanne started it, but she's really, really big on it. Every September she does it. And it's something I've been thinking about a lot lately, especially since I just got out of therapy and, um, you know, it's been almost a month, month, a month, I'm hungry guys, um, a month since my surgery. And this is the third surgery that I've had for endometriosis. Um, I did a whole video on my experiences with endometriosis and kind of the chronological timeline of it, uh, I think almost a year ago now. Um, but to give the abridged version, I started having symptoms when I was 14. And I, um, I got diagnosed at 26. That's a really long time to go being so sick and not knowing what's wrong with you. Since then, it's kind of progressed to the point where it's become even more chronic and I've had three surgeries to try and combat it and I'm to the point now where basically the surgery... I'm, my arm's getting tired. Um, basically, the surgery that I had, it didn't work. Um, and it sucks because most of my endometriosis is inoperable and or microscopic or subtissue is what they're thinking. I'm going to see a specialist at the end of the month, hopefully, to get some perspective on this and where to go from here because I'm at loss on what to do with with my chronic illness and it has been very hard to love my body it has been very hard to be a parent and I have a disease that causes infertility so I feel a lot of guilt because I should be thankful that I have even been able to become a parent but it is really hard to be a parent even without chronic pain and feeling exhausted all the time and having depression and generalized anxiety disorder and I am constantly pushing myself I'm constantly judging myself I'm constantly feeling guilt and I just mom guilt is a big thing it's a big thing for for both moms and dads um, but we just feel we tear ourselves apart for all the little things that we don't do and we don't see all the things that we do and that's something that I've been trying so hard to work on the dishes didn't get done today but I have hugged and loved my children as much as I possibly could or um, we're, we didn't leave the house because I was in so much pain but I've done my best to try and make sure that they got what they needed they're fed they're clean they they have me there for whatever they need, but still I feel guilty and I don't know when that stops. I could do everything I possibly could and I'd still feel guilty and it doesn't make any sense. Why am I doing that? I don't understand it. And I don't, I don't give myself enough credit at all. I don't give myself enough patience and I don't mother myself. And that's even harder to do when you don't have your mother anymore to remind you to mother yourself. So this is also about grief because losing someone you love sucks, but losing a parent is, is complete hell. Um, sorry if I keep adjusting, I'm trying, I'm holding the phone with my hand, so I keep like switching hands. But I just wanted to talk about and bring awareness to 
how we are moms, but we don't mother ourselves. And we don't have patience for ourselves. I know it's probably because our patience is stretched so thin, being parents. But I, I feel like it's so important to call attention to what you need. And to try and make time <clears throat> every day a little bit to do something for yourself. I don't care how little it is, you still need to be doing it because you need to remind yourself that you are a person. We tend to lose our identities to motherhood and because um, motherhood or parenthood, it takes so much out of you. And to top that with all the other issues that I have, and I know I'm not the only person on this planet that has these issues as well as being a parent, I get so wrapped up in everything else. And I forget me, and that's not okay, because then I suffer from it, and everyone else suffers from it, because I'm suffering from it, and I can't be a good functioning mother if I don't do this stuff for myself. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. I wanted to raise awareness about this stuff, and I'm, I think that's kind of all I have to say on it today. I'm sure I'll come up more, but I'm really hungry. I need to go grab some lunch. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my video tomorrow. Bless the bee. Oh my God, turn off. <laughs> see all the seriousness and then I make you laugh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it off now. <laughs>